Hello guys, RGG here and welcome back to another Cubic Studio modeling tutorial. In this episode I'm going to explain to you what the difference is between elements, voxels and the meshes here and how you can actually use those to make from pretty awesome models in Minecraft but also for other software if, if you're really interested in that. So first of all what you see right here is just a textured um, uh, element, sorry, <laughs> element, uh, a few actually and uh, yeah, just use some things that I taught you in the previous episode, so uh, episodes 1 to 7. Um, and this is, of course, very basic, very ugly, and you probably wouldn't export this because, yeah, what's the point? Um, but that's basically what you can do. You can see that there's rhombuses, and um, they're not just squares, they're uh, all kinds of 3D, but you are limited to the square thing. And rotation is also a little bit finicky. Uh, well, finicky is it's just that it, you're limited to a lot of things, but you aren't limited to the size. That's basically what I want to say here. Next up is the voxels. Those are the colored 3D pixels that you can see right here. Very, very cool for if you're inter interested in, uh, in in doing pixel arts or something. If you're good at, good at that, then this is probably something you want to check out. Very, very useful. So, um, voxels here, I'm going to quickly explain to you how you can do those. So, just click on the tab voxels and then... Uh, click uh, f just simply click on this one you can select the color so let's ex uh, for example take a nice red the pure red you can just click right here and there's a red pixel and you can just right click uh, and it's removed so left click creates and right click removes um, and you can see that I actually do this in the 3d view and not on the uh, plane the, the side views because this is actually far easier to do it right here if you want to add it here click if you want to add it on the other side click uh, it, it's that easy it's very 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 easy so uh, much easier actually than using this uh, in contradiction to the others because the others are very easy to do right here uh, so another reason to actually use this view here next up are the meshes the meshes are these little things that you can see are these these spheres and cylinders that you can see right here and as you see they are much more complex than the other things that um, cubic offers here and that's because they are meant to use by other software as well so um, big, uh, uh, the meshes and the voxels don't get used by Minecraft but if you want to use other software or upload them to Sketchfab you're fine to use those as well so um, you can see there's all kinds of spheres and you can easily create those by clicking right here so you, for example you can do a cone uh, let's just get a cone here and you'll see that it gets the color from here as well you can change it uh, by painting it later but for now it's red um, and you can just set its sizes right here and um, make it appear there it is a very big cone, very ugly cone, but you can make some pretty cool things with this. And you can actually even output it or export it to Unity. So if you're a game maker and you want to use some 3D models created using Cubic Studio, you can. But what if you want a sphere in Minecraft? Well, you can actually just go here, go to the mesh, and then um, convert to voxels. Uh, you don't even need to select it because what this will do, it will convert all the meshes to voxels. So you can't actually convert those to elements directly. But you can export them to voxels and then from voxels back to elements. So what it will do is we'll, uh, it will take these and convert them to some of these. And it will convert these to some of these. What I do recommend is making this a little bit bigger than what I did here. Because you can see that the size is, uh, it's about the same size. But it needs to convert those to little pixels this big. So you can imagine that it gets pretty, pretty messed up. And then it converts those to elements which looks approximately the same. Uh, let's actually do this here. So... Um, we are going to convert to voxels. So what you do is you click on the three little dots uh, up here with mesh and then convert to voxels. And then you set the resolution. So um, you can set the resolution very high. You get very, very dense pixels. Um, what you do need to keep in mind is that if you want to change this later on to elements, that the maximum resolution you can take is 32. So I just recommend doing 32 because then you get the highest resolution. And I would also do keep insides empty. That is easy for uh, performance. So just click OK. Um, Selected resolution for, uh, from existing voxels, blah, 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 erase and start. So uh, that basically takes your existing um, voxels away, which is a very pity. So if you have some voxels here, um, make sure that you save and back up before. Or you can just do Control Z, I think, but it will keep them removed. So let's actually convert those back again. Uh, very quick. There you go. And you can see that it's not as pretty as you might have hoped. Uh, there's even some orange ones right here, which I think is a little bug. I hope Sfax here <laughs> notices that because I don't think I put some orange voxels there. Whoop, whoops. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what you can do. And then you can go to voxels here. And there's the same kind of button. Convert to elements. And then you just... For easy measures, just do one element for voxel. So it will basically convert every element, or actually every voxel, so every little square right here, it will convert to a um, 
to a voxel. So let's do that. Um, it will create 402 elements. Just saying. And it will have those blue squares. So uh, I'll teach you later how to get rid of those. But it's very, very easy. You can just do that with the paint tool, um, which is right here. So, And then you can see that you've got this whole list of elements right here, which should end up being... Uh, 402 plus the free I already had so and now you can export this to Minecraft So you can have your little arrow kind of thing with the circular thing on top to in Minecraft So as I said if you want to make this prettier just uh, make sure that it's bigger and then you will have more detail in the end Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope you learned something and I will see you in the next video guys. Bye